Uh, Kryn, uh, Western Michigan uh, warm-up match here on Wednesday, and then it's on to the Mid-American Conference season. Um, what have you learned about this team so far through the non-conference season? I think we learned a lot about the strengths we have as individuals and how we can apply these strengths to a team aspect and just create the strongest team we can. A little bit of a shock for you guys going from Florida uh, over spring break back to the, the snow in Michigan. <laughs> um, you know, you did play tennis down there, got mm -hmm. to practice outside, but you know, how important are those types of trips for, uh, for team bonding and team chemistry? I think team trips are incredibly important and are one of the best ways to achieve team bonding because we're together essentially 24-7 and there's no better opportunity to get to know all the little things about each other. And also having game nights, having all our meals together and just spending so much quality time together allows us to get like so much closer and really strengthen our bond as a team. There had to be some sort of disappointment when you got off the plane and saw the snow. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, the team fell just short of making the MAC tournament last season. You know, what has this team worked on um, to help you guys accomplish that goal this year? Yeah, we were really close last season, and I know for all the returners that really stung, but that just made us work so much harder because we know we can accomplish this goal. And we've created a more gritty and hardworking environment that the newcomers have come into and adopted this mindset. And I think this created a more gritty and hardworking environment that the newcomers have come into and adopted this mindset. And we've been working really hard all year and staying disciplined in order to put us in the best possible position to accomplish this goal. All right, last question, bit of a curveball here. Um, the, uh, the refueling stations are, mm -hmm. are a new thing here at Western. What does that mean to you as a student athlete and what's your, uh, what your go-to snack? I think the refueling station really shows how much the school cares about us as athletes. And I think my favorite snack would have to be um, probably the meal kits because it's a really good way for me to get you know properly fueled before or after practices. All right, thanks, Corinne. Yeah, thank you very much. Coach Broncos get uh, MAC play started on the weekend of a final non-conference match here at home on Wednesday. Um, you know, three of the first MAC matches are on the road. You already have more road wins this year than you did all of last year. You know, what is it about this team that's allowed you to see success uh, away from home so far? I think it's been a combo of experience with our new kids kind of integrated in the lineup. Um, you know, I think. Every road match is a test. Um, there's a lot of parity in our league. Starting off three on the road is not my first, uh, <laughs> wouldn't be my first pick, but you know we'll roll with it and uh, see what happens. You guys just got back from your spring break trip to Florida. Um, you know, from a coaching standpoint, how important are those types of trips for uh, team bonding and chemistry? Well, uh, we were hoping we'd get outdoor tennis and come back and play outdoor tennis this weekend, but I don't think that's going to be in the cards uh, with snow on the ground. But I think it'll pay off. I think, you know, we had five great days of training, two picked up another two wins. Um, so it was good from that standpoint for sure. Uh, doubles have been a real strength so far for the team this season. As a coach, what goes into making those pairings? And then, uh, you know, your top one has been Ziegler and Monko, and, and what have they been doing to be so dominant? Yeah, you know, I think, you know, finding doubles teams can somewhat be a little luck um, and finding what clicks. Um, you know, Val is a true doubles player. I think they complement one, one another very well. Um, you know, I think both of them had, have had success playing with different partners. So it's fun to see them play. They enjoy playing with one another, which I think is, is the bottom line. Uh, but Lindsay sets Val up, and Val likes to move, and here we go. And then uh, lastly, uh, the refueling stations are, are a new thing here. The student athletes seem to love it from a coach's standpoint. You know, how important is, is their ability to grab a snack or grab a meal, uh, you know, when they're rushing around? Yeah, you know, from class to lift, lift to practice, after practice, I think it's, it's been great. You know, I think they, they use it. Uh, they're appreciative of it. I think it's been a great addition to the Broncos. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you.